Hey everyone, so quick Terraria news video is we've got lots of little bits to talk about, so let's jump right in. First off, we got a tweet from Senex that says, In the Labour of Love update, you'll be able to see a kill count in the bestiary. And although it makes the tally counter a little redundant, I really like this change. And what's even better, somebody asked if this will actually track retroactively, as in tracking the kills before 1.4.4. And Red actually responded and just said, yep. In addition to this, somebody did ask, speaking of kill count, how about a way to find out how many times you've died in a specific world? And Red actually responded, we have a new slash deaths command that will show you this information. And I actually really like this for challenge runs because now you'll be able to tell people exactly how many times you've died in a challenge. Someone did ask, is there gonna be an item or NPC that tells you this in game? And Red responded, there is a new nurse dialogue where she casually mentions it, which makes sense because how else would you find out about this? So somebody did point out that the bestiary now shows 540 entries as opposed to 523, which means there are 17 new entries. Well, Senex responded, you have already seen 10 of them, 8 town slimes, and 2 parrots, which is pretty interesting. Like, every single town slime has its own entry on the bestiary. That's kind of cool. Got a feeling it's because they want to add, like, a backstory to each one. Red actually commented on this too when asked what the new entries were. He said, well, you've seen slime friends and new jungle birds. You mean, tell you that top secret thing that won't even be in the patch notes? No. So I've got a strong feeling here that all of these new entries are actually going to be tied to the secret seed. And I genuinely, I have no idea what they're going to be. Although if we're going off of current themes, probably some kind of boulder enemy. All right, that's my prediction. And as we get closer to this update coming out, now is actually a great time to subscribe so you don't miss any of the news. On the topic of the bestiary, somebody put on Reddit, when you fully fill out a bestiary page in journey mode, you should be able to spawn that thing at any time. And Reb responded, imagine not having debug powers. It's a good idea though. I'll consider it if we have the time. And yeah, I guess why not? If you're already playing journey mode where the rules are completely thrown out of the window, it would be really awesome to have an option to do this in vanilla Terraria. Because although there are plenty of mods that will do this for you, that means that people playing on mobile or console don't have access to them. Next up, somebody tweeted Red and said, Red, when are you going to spoil my neon blocks? And Red responded, I'm on your side. Convince the rest of the team. Well, Chrono shortly responded and said, I'm convinced. Let's make those blocks. So we're getting neon blocks. And I can already imagine cyberpunk builds are gonna look next level. Next up, somebody tweeted Red and said, in all honesty, I'd absolutely love if all of the angler loot was predetermined. They can still require a lot of fishing, but when you're aiming to get one last accessory for the cell phone, it would be a lot nicer if each fishing quest done felt like progression towards that. And Red actually responded, there may or may not be something that can help with this. Next up, somebody said on Reddit, make pianos playable, I dare you. And Red actually responded, at this point, I want to redo the entire music system. I just don't want to keep delaying the update. Your suggestion has been heard. I actually get this one a lot. Next up, somebody tweeted Red and said, does that mean we're getting a slime transformation? And Red actually responded, not gonna lie, that's the first thing that came to my mind after we did the wolf transformation. Must focus. All right, Red, throw that focus out of the door because I wanna play Terraria as a slime. That sounds actually banging. So now it's time to talk about 1.5. Well, kind of. Red tweeted out last night, I legitimately can't tell if we are making 1.4.9 or 1.5 anymore. And around the same time, Senex tweeted out, we're having a dangerous conversation in dev chat right now. Now, for me, this big 1.4.4 or 1.5 thing is actually kind of complicated. On one hand, I want to say, well, 1.4.4 looks amazing. Thank you very much. I'll take a final free update. And if you want to move on, I think you've definitely earned it. But on the other hand, 1.4.4 is legitimately looking like a big update. You know, from everything that we've seen, from all the fan suggestions to the interactions to all of the excitement, it feels like a disservice 
not making it 1.5. But then again, I don't make Terraria, you know, I just talk about the news. So whatever it ends up being, you know, I'm always excited. And finally, we got a pretty interesting tweet from Red last night. He tweeted out, the inclusion of poo blocks are literally triggering to me. I am never playing again. I am never going to buy a Relogic game again. And I am going to keep demanding a refund every day until I get my $5 back. Now, what's sad about this is we know that this is more than likely a hateful comment that's just been thrown out there. And I actually agree. <laughs> it saddens me because, as we all know, Terraria is a game enjoyed by gentlemen. You know, I'm wearing my suit. I know you're wearing yours. You know, sometimes I get comments like, James, you don't put your face in enough videos. Well, it's because you already know what I look like, all right? You know I'm wearing the suit. I'm always wearing the suit because that's how you play Terraria. You know, I've dedicated 11 years to this game. It's a long time. You know, you see the award behind me, 1 million subscribers. Like, that's a big milestone. I love this game. And I want Terraria to remain a game that's exclusively about maturity. It honestly really saddens me. There's thousands of items in Terraria. And, like, never before have they had to just... Oh, uh... You know, there's just... You know, I just hope they don't do it. 